Oh, wait. oh god. Starting off EWE with an unhappy Mark Andrews. Oh god. Very unhappy man. He wants to say a few words. Not to the EWE universe. He's recently gained respect upon after that big fight with the world champion Tyler. But Tyler would win against Mark Andrews. Mark Andrews would learn the ways of what he is doing is wrong. Who the hell is that? Inferno. How many times do I have to hear your horrible promos and tank? How many times are you going to say the same shit over and over and over and over and over again, man? It's getting frustrating. I'm trying to be the good guy in all this. It, you think Inferno's in the right. Well, he's not. He only used... He used homeless stuff, I guess. He made himself look homeless. So Tyler would make sure... Maybe feel guilty. And as Monica said, his own daughter came through. And she told the wolf who told Tyler the plan. To make Monica or Ruby walk in and say, please don't hurt him, he's had enough. And then Inferno gets behind Tyler and low blows him, hits him with Inferno stunners, cracks him open and stuff, and then gets the win. What a dirty son of a bitch you are, Inferno. In fact, if you think you can take Tyler, you've got another fucking thing coming. You only went as far as you did last time, just because he was injured. And you know it. Listen, Fado. I didn't want it to go this far, you know. I just wanted to say, I'm done with this. I gave Tyler my regards saying, well done. You did good. Congratulations. Uh, you was better than I expected. And I want to help him train. Until you come over backstage and tell me, oh, uh, what are you doing? That's really pissing me off. You think I'm still with you just because we had a plan once to take down Tyler. Oh well, no, no, no. My plan is... You leave Tyler the fuck alone. And if you want to face Tyler again, you've got to go through me, Inferno. If you want to face anyone like Tyler, or anyone who knows who, how Tyler does his stuff... How he does it. You're not going to fight anyone. But I'm willing to give you a taste of your own medicine. And I am going to break your fucking arm. You see, we still have one more. Yeah, one more match. In the match card of Hardcore Games. To be filled in. Of course, you've got the Hardcore Games uh, team fight. But, well, it's literally just called Hardcore Games. Where one member on both teams still need to be announced. And that's coming this episode. But we can't leave a match out, can we, of this pay-per-view? So, Inferno, what me, Mark Andrews, is thinking of is breaking your fucking arm. Inside of a steel cage. This may seem familiar. Well, yes, that is because I want to fight you, Inferno, inside of a steel cage in a submission match. So if you want to go through what Tyler had to go through, and you want to study him, well, mark my words, because I ain't using whatever he did. You need to see how much pain he has to go through just to defend that title from your dirty hands. And mark my words, Tank made a mistake going into the Hell in a Cell with him. He is going to fucking murder Tank. There is going to be a corpse in the middle of the ring. You know we saw someone almost die, Springer, and shattered? There's going to be a literal dead giant in the ring right now. Well, next at Hardcore Games. And if you don't believe me, if you don't believe me, Inferno, there's also going to be someone missing their fucking arm. And that person is going to be you. So I recommend you accept this challenge before I find you anyway and break both your arms as a punishment, you coward. You talk all big, Mark Andrews. 
you talk more about how you've changed and how you were going to what I'm not even following you honestly about how you've changed and how much of a lovely person you are and how much you're going to support Tyler but let's not forget just a few months ago what did you do to a family an innocent family a, f a son sticking up for his father who you tried to break his father arm with you can't talk shit about family and no one changes in Fano in uh, Mark Andrews no one changes for the greater good apart from me Inferno. <sighs> but, nonetheless, let's just hear what you did to Austin. You tried to break his arm. And when Ace, yeah sure, okay, it was a match to be fair, but still. And when Ace came in to try to stop him, what did you do? You, well, stop you. You attacked Ace. You attacked the son of the man who you was breaking the arm with, if that makes sense. And what did you do again? Ace wanted to fight you in a uh, submission match, that's what it was. And you didn't even give him mercy. Not at the toughest moment, you saw how good he was going. And then you decided to pop in that wretched armbar of yours and then tap him out. And then, to make matters worse, Ace and Austin in the same kickoff show. Hmm. You beat them both. Which I guess is kind of an achievement, to be fair to you. But is it really what a good guy would do? Snap. Try to snap their f someone's arm while their son watches. And then beat up their son after. <laughs> You're just like me, deep inside, Mark Andrews. Just like Tyler, just like Knight, just like the Wolf, just like everyone in that roster. They know what they really want. And what I want is to see Tyler suffer. And also to take the Wolf's Championship, which will come soon when he stops avoiding me. But you saying you're going to break my arm is a bit of a stretch. For multiple reasons, really. But the thing is, I'm no coward. Unlike you. So I will accept your challenge head on. Just as we make sure there's no breaking out of the cage. Or getting out of the cage, yeah? So come on. Let's just be manly for a bit. And accept my challenge. Yeah, Inferno? Yeah, sure, I accept the challenge. Let's handshake on it. But like I said, on one condition, you're not allowed to escape the cell. And it definitely has to be for submission. Oh, yeah, here's your handshake. But hold on. There's one thing that I've been taught, Inferno, which has gotten me through my career multiple times. And you're not different, to be honest to you. Fine. What's that then? Hmm? The thing is, it's to never trust snakes. Oh! Mark Andrews! Mark Andrews has put... Mark Andrews has put Inferno in an armbar centre of the ring! No way! Inferno taps out! What the hell? Wait a minute, Tank. He's running backstage to ambush Mark Andrews. But now, Tyler... Oh! Inverted Hurricane Rana. Tyler stopping Tank in his tracks. Tank looking to help out Inferno yet again. But now Tyler. Tyler's going up against Tank in the hardcore games in the head in the cell for the EWE World Championship. And oh my god. Oh, into the table. Holy shit. Tyler. Going at it tonight. Oh god. Big punch and a headbutt. And now, just showing his fist. Tyler with punches, trying to bring the tank down. Seeing what he's made out of. Wait a minute, there's a kick. Elbow. And wait a minute. Oh! 
There we go. That's what brings him down. Oh, God. Wait, what? Hurricane Rana, what the hell? How has the tank done that? Look at the size of this man. He literally reaches the roof. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, my God. A power slam on the table and signalling that Tyler is going to lose the championship at Hardcore Games. And another big forearm. See, Tyler loses possession for one second. And Tank just capitalises. May love or you may hate Tank. But either way, you must respect him though. Mm, kind of. As a fighter at least. Saying that Inferno is in the right is definitely wrong on so many levels. And just whacking him into the door. That's the that's the black team locker room for hardcore games. Hassad chop right to the brain and just lifting him up into a bear hug and throws him into the equipment boxes. Jesus. Tyler just being torn apart by the tank. His next opponent, or some may say his next victim for hardcore games. As Tyler has been on a pretty impressive EWE World Championship run as he first won it. And he's never lost it ever since. Being the first ever EWE World Champion for overall seven matches retained. But Tank is obviously on a mission looking to change that in the upcoming first ever Hardcore Games. Talking of Hardcore Games, we're going to see the final member for Team Black just in a few seconds and also Team Blue. But first, what is Tank doing? Just throwing him everywhere. Throwing Tyler everywhere. What the hell does he think he's doing? Buddy Murphy, you can see him down there just practicing on his promos and then this is happening oh right into the wall and Tyler just skids off holding his arm this is not the type of place that you want to be in right now like oh right into the electrical box goes Tank and a big punch Tank, don't do this. No, anything but this. Looking, spear into the electrical box. Tyler might be dead. Tyler's not moving. Tyler's not moving. And Tank is just running. He's boogieing it to his car. He's legging it. And everyone else running away. Let's get into the next match, but get paramedics to Tyler right now. And here we go. First match of EWE. The last chance to qualify for Black Team with Alex, Nightmare and Adrian. I have a feeling I've got that right. <laughs> but anyway, it's definitely the last chance. Skull Crusher. Wait, who's this? We'll face off against Red Lightning. Right Lightning. DB! God, I haven't seen him in a long time. I believe his real name is Dean Bloodlust, but. Yeah. I believe that's him anyway. Let me know if it isn't. Anyway, his first appearance in EWE. Tom Ladini Team Master for like the, sec the second or third time trying to qualify. Bad luck for him, I guess. And we'll have one last guy. Who is this? There's like candles in the middle of the ring. Smoke. See him lights out, that looks awesome. The lights just zooming in on the black and red ring. Who the hell? The candles are just there. I hear lifting sounds. Dylan! Or oh, Stone Trooper Dylan is in EWE. Raises his head to look at the competition. And takes a step. Ready to destroy. Ready to hopefully, for him anyway, get a big push. And ready to become part of Black Team. But he's got a lot of competition to do so. Without further ado, let's get this match underway. Skull Crusher trips up. A uh, big kick from Tom. Dini Team Master neck, neck breaker from uh, DB. 
Skull Crusher rolling out. I'm just watching both of them. Crucifix, Crucifix, boy, Skull Crusher. One and a kick out at one. And I takes out the biggest man in the room, which is DB. And now off the ropes. And bang, Hurricane Rana. And now Dylan getting in the ring. Also really athletic. Takes a drop kick. No souls. And a big spike. DDT. But then a the drop kick again. And Dylan again. No selling it. And a crossbody to Tom the DDT master. And uh, it looks like it, that did quite a bit to Skullcrusher as well. And now DB going to town on uh, Dylan. And now, oh god, Skullcrusher to the top. One, two, three. Oh, DB breaks it up. And I believe Skullcrusher landed on his neck or something. It's really putting down whatever, whatever he landed on. A break up from Skullcrusher, that pin attempt from DB. Oh, wait a minute, there it is again, Crucifix, how's he got the shoulders down, DB's massive, and a, oh, almost, almost at least a two, and now Skullcrusher, or, oh, well, Harvey, his former name, and now Skullcrusher talking to the ref, talking about something, I think he's asking a question, about this match, as he's never actually been in one of these. Oh God, Skullcrusher takes everyone out apart from Tornadini Team Master, who's just there looking like what the hell just happened? And he looks for a flip sent on, oh Skullcrusher moves out of the way. What the hell, Skullcrusher taking everyone out. And a neck breaker. That was extreme from Skullcrusher and into the ring post. And now DB got some words to say to him. So is Dylan, it looks like. I think Dylan's going underneath the ring. DB into the steel steps. Dylan following Skullcrusher with a basement drop kick. And now Tonadini Team Master getting into the ring here. Skullcrusher over the head with a kendo. And now, oh god, DB's got a chair. It's like the league. These are all forming a faction over Skullcrusher. But Skullcrusher able to take them all out anyway. And look at Dylan. No way. Snake eyes. Oh, God. And now Tony Dini Team Master deciding to maybe switch it up a little. And Dylan's going to the top. No, they're Tom, Tom and Dini Team Master going straight back onto Skullcrusher. Skullcrusher, another reversal. And a boot. Wait a minute. Brainbuster finisher move. Hooks the leg, DB's on the outside, he doesn't realise the pinfall. One, two, kick out at two. And now DB just getting tossed out of the way. And now Dylan just being used as a shield against DB and DB throwing Dylan to the outside. As Skullcrusher works on uh Tonadini Team Master once again. Oh wait a minute. Tornado DDT. And oh, I never saw that, but Dylan's now got a baseball bat. And another basement drop kick. Good skull crusher. Go and another drop kick. And an Inseguri. Now DB and Dylan on the outside. I'm watching this now. And a suplex onto the concrete. Wait a minute, where's Skullcrusher going? He's going to the top. Wait a minute, uh oh. Tom the DDT Master trying to reverse. Skullcrusher not letting him. Oh, just brings him down with a solid steel arse. <laughs> Tyler gets that reference. And a cover. Ding Bloodlust distracted on the outside. And that was only a one count, almost a two. Oh, rolls out of the way of a punch. Oh, wait a minute, oh, just carrying Tom the Dini Team Master and a slam. Welcome to the slam. And now, oh god, on the apron now. No. Sunset's flip power bomb to the outside and Dylan teeing off with that baseball bat. And now Skullcrusher to the top. What is Dylan doing? Going around to Tom the Dini Team Master, who's about to get a full, oh no! full experience of pain but Dylan gets in the way at the same time and now both these men run into the ring Dylan's gonna go into the steps, I thought they was both gonna go in the ring oh god oh no, look for a leg drop oh, hits the kendo still fighting on his skull crusher though 
And oh god, not again. To the middle rope. Tornado DDT, I think. Time the DDT Master has caught open and a big drop kick. Jesus Christ. Skull Crush, we might be looking to kill him. And now, right there, what is Dylan and Dean Bloodlust doing on the outside? Dylan trying to lift him up but can't for long and just decides to slam him. I thought he was looking for something there. Skullcrusher, what is this? DDT and the knee of Tom the DDT Master hits the kendo. Rolling him over. Going for the cover. Dylan's in the ring. I don't think Skullcrusher realised it. Two kick out and Dylan definitely did not realise about the count. Oh god, he's got the kendo. Tom the DDT Master with a reversal. Moves out the way. Another basement drop kick. Uh oh. Tonadini Team Master takes it. And now to the middle rope. Getting punched down. And now off the rope. Oh no, botches it. I think it's going for. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. F5. Signature move. And wait a minute. Skull Crusher. He forgets Skull Crusher is there. And a big knee to the back of the skull. And now lifting up Tonadini Team Master. And a kick. No! Brain Buster finishing move! No, we took out the ref! It's Dylan's there trying to steal it! Throws him off! Hooks the leg! But the referee is down! No! That is unfair! No, I get that he's going to try and steal the victory, but still, that is really unfair! Running power slam! And now DB's about to get screwed! DB has won, DB and Skullcrusher have won the match already, but the fact of the matter is, the referee is down, and he has been for quite a long time, we may need a new official, nope he's back, right into the ropes, and Dylan, he's just looking at the ref in disbelief, like, wow, do you want me or Tom to win or something, and now throws Tom into the corner, Tonadini team after being lucky, he got pinned twice. And look, Skullcrusher, this just fills Skullcrusher with rage, jumping off the tight rope and a drop kick. And now Dylan going over to Harvey, or Skullcrusher even. Please don't tell me I've been saying Harvey the entire time. Anyway, oh, kick to the knee. And a stomp, the move that he favorited in CCW when we used to do it a while back, a few months ago. What is this? End of heartache signature move. And the cover sent out of the ring. DB might be able to get in there to break it up. Slow getting into the ring, but kick out again by Tom Ladini, the team master. Not losing his third match in a row in this kind of genre of a match. Oh, God. I think Dylan's dead. Oh, God, wait a minute. Skull Crusher. Brainbuster finishing move. And now with the cover, breaks it up. And wait a minute, Dylan's in the ring and he's coming up. No, drop kick right to the back of Skullcrusher. Oh God. And Dylan throws him out, throws him into the turnbuckle even. Oh wait, 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 wait. Suplex onto the kendo. And now Tomadini Team Master is up. Bang, heel kick. Oh no, Dylan gets away. From that is Sledgehammer shot. Oh my god, all these men want to get so badly into the first ever hardcore gang. So the unfortunate thing is, <laughs> this would be a team by itself. Not only there's only one person, there's only one spot left. But this would literally be a team by itself. And unfortunately, there's only two teams, the blue and the black. And now, cover all, oh, kick out instantly. And DB pushing that chair in. Look for a kick, big and Seguri. And now, Skullcrusher resting on the ropes. Gets caught with a zigzag. And saying, come on. And now DB walking up to him, but he stops taunting. Dylan stops taunting. Oh, God, wait. Oh, hit right into the midsection with the sledgehammer, Jesus. That's... that That's painful. That's really painful. Damn. Ouch. Oh, right, Skullcrusher caught. Wait a minute, what is this? Bang, end of heartache. B both signature moves at the same time and the F5 as well 
is what I meant to say for DB. Skullcrusher getting the advantage. Bang! No way. Not a kick. How is he lifting DB up? Bang Buster! But wait a minute. Oh god, Dylan's in. Dylan's up even. Takes a drop kick. Hooks the leg on DB. There's no way. Two. Oh my god. A kick out of two. And a cover on Tom now. No one. Two. Three. Oh my god. Plan B for Skull Crusher. Always comes in handy. And now he will be part of the black team with Alex facing Knight's team, the blue team, at the first ever hardcore games. And look how much Tonadini Team Master just got abused in that match though. Ouch. That's the whole black team figured out, sorted out. Nightmare. Adrian, Skull Crusher, and the captain, Alex. I just said that all in reverse, but uh, who cares? Anyway, on to the next match. We're going to be seeing who is the last member of Blue Team. Hey, what's going on here? The referee saying, get out of here. Skull Crusher. Oh, God, wait. This is two members of the Blue Team. Zach Strongman, the new debuter, and Mr. Pizza, the EWE Underground Champion. Ambushing the new Team Black member. This has got to be on Knight's command. There's, or maybe they're just doing it for their team. And Pizza just stalking Skull Crusher, who's just been ambushed by these two. Looks for a choke slam. The EWE Underground Champion gets reversed though. Wait a minute, lifted on Zach Strongman. Oh, end of heartache. The referee must stumble that one saying, get off both of you, get out of here. Oh, wait a minute, a kick. Brain buster to the EWE Underground Champion. The ref saying, okay, that's it, get security, someone. I don't think security's coming though. I don't think anyone wants to get in the way of these lot. Another brain buster. Zach Strongman though, saying that he doesn't want to retreat. And Skull Crusher saying, and I'm gonna treat you how I'm gonna destroy you in my matches. I might have been a run. Oh, under. Harakamana, bang! And saying he's gonna end Blue Team. Alex watching backstage, basically, I hope, anyway, with glee as the two blue members, Mr. Pizza, just runs out of there. The EWE Underground Champion as well, and Zach Strongman being decimated by the new member of Black Team and Bang Skull Crusher. Oh my God! And another drop kick. Skull Crusher giving it his all, trying to show Alex backstage. We're going to get to a backstage cam in a second just to see Alex's reaction to what's going on in this ring but first we're just going to be viewing it and bang tornado DDT just sending Zach Strongman skidding across the floor and an insiguri god this is really sending a message for hardcore games right let's get to a backstage cam wait a minute Alex being attacked by Knight oh, and ends of heartache the blue team locker room is a mess. Thanks to Knight in a blue team attire. No, did I say the black? The blue, the black team to, uh, locker room is a mess. As apparently Nightmare and Adrian were told to just get out of the building because Knight was doing some destructive things in this locker room. With his other two members, Zach Strongman and Mr. Pizza, when the match was going on. That's why there's chairs and briefcases and trash cans everywhere. Oh, wait a minute, rolling through. Super kick, the old signature move of Knight. Oh my god. This was, this was Knight's idea, I thought it wasn't. 
Oh my god. Puts him on the... Hits him onto the TV. And now, oh god, wait, 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 wait. Oh, throws him into the locker room. Ouch. This has got to be Knight's way of saying thank you for attacking our men. And here is what's going to happen. The Knight going, I'm dying a low blow, Jesus Christ. Looks like Knight's ex exited the locker room and he's... Oh, no. There's one thing I want to say to you, Knight. As you may know, I'm fighting for the Hardcore Championship and I want to win it. Because if I win, that means there's no way they can try, EWE can try to backfire me and say, Oh, um, you're fired when I lose or whatever. No. They can't do that. Because I'll be champion. And they don't know where to find me, so they can't relinquish the belt off me. Meaning all them months of making that glorious championship that will be around my waist will just be in, to, well, in vain. So, I want you to strike true terror in EWE management and, well, fans' hearts by winning the first ever EWE Hardcore Games. I want you to train them your two people you call right now to be better than they already are because I've seen them not gonna lie they look kind of shit I can take that underground title any day of the week and I can beat Strongman any day of the week I want you to do this not just for your sake just to get a goal a dream coming true not to just be written in the history books of the first ever EWE hardcore games within and no I want you to do this for me now you see I can't get into it because I'm already in the hardcore championship so if I was already captain I would have already gave in multiple oh god oh god that Fucking fuck, man. Anyway, although I would have given you and Thunderbolt and someone else a chance, not Springer. I'm still training him, and he's still recovering in hospital. I want you to. I want you to give this man a chance, because he is an old friend of mine in a different company. Well, we used to be in a company anyway. But here's the note. Ring him and tell him that he will be having a match tonight. And I want him to win, night. I want him a win to win. So put him the weakest of the weakest in the EWE. And EWE management already know of this. And they agree. They say it's going to be interesting to see who I have in mind. But they better not be fucking psychopaths, which mm, maybe I lied about him a bit. Uh, you'll see when he fights. It's going to be so fucking fun watching this happen. <sighs> also, thank you for doing the assault on them. I hear Skullcrusher beat fucking Zack, but Pizza's waiting for him somewhere. And who cares about that? So you just go take some rest, write some strategies, and I'll deal with Alex for now. And yeah, let's watch the match together. Oh god. When Biker says he wants someone in, I don't have a good feeling about that. Who in the... Oh god, wait, I've seen this man before. Gabriel Hass. Or the psycho Gabriel Hass. Oh god. He likes stealing people's limbs, stealing their toes, making people suffer. And what's worse is he doesn't feel pain. Oh god, I wish we never saw this guy again. Matt Solman. WWE Universal Champion, bring it to FWE and then we almost got fucking lawsuited. Nevertheless, hopefully he gets destroyed. Big kick. Anyway, in this match, whoever wins... Wait a minute! Savior kick! Oh my god. 
whoever wins will actually be part of the blue team despite there being two other people why because biker and knight requested this and the management said yeah sure why not it'll be interesting and a rake of the eyes and solman is stumbling turns around just to see that face looking at him this is a normal matchup by the way not usually do you oh my not usually do you see normal matchups in EWE. No, 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 no. Oh, I thought he was looking for a low blow. Oh, God, what is this? Tequila Sunrise. Here we go. Oh, God. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Kicks. Wait a minute, lifting. Gabriel up. GTS finishing move. No way. Imagine if Matt actually got through just by that. What? You're joking. One from the GTS. Chop. Punch. And a big kick. What is this? Oh, squeezing. What the hell? It's a rope break. Ref saying break the hole. Shouting at Gabriel Haas. And he just takes the referee out, saying, don't shout at me, you fuck. Oh, what is this? No, no, no. The saviour drop, making, making him land on the neck. And now, oh, oh God, we know what this is. The saviour kick by Gabriel Haas. The psycho, the saviour, as he likes to call himself. He likes to save companies and stuff quote unquote save them and this has literally been a fucking five count honestly lifting the ref up and I'm going for another cover the referee not counting it's already been a fucking three count ref one two three he had all that time to kick out and he didn't he had at least ten seconds Matt Solman <sighs> anyway both your teams for hardcore games have been decided right here. We have Adrian, no, I, I should most likely start the team captains. For black team, Captain Alex, then Adrian, then Nightmare, then Skullcrusher. For blue team, the captain, Knight, with Zach Strongman, Mr. Pizza, and now, Gabriel Haas, which may be the turning point for their team. But will he? Well, we'll see him perform in hardcore games, which, looking at him, I don't really want to see him in hardcore games. He's probably going to end up killing someone. Anyway, this has been EWE. Sorry if it's been a bit short, but everything's already been sorted. So, like, yeah, I think anyway. Yeah, the whole match card is there, basically. So... Thank you guys for watching and peace.